Okay, so here we are in the tour, Simen Sadi Chet, and take it away, uh, Aaron. Beginning with Amar Rabbi Yosanan. Yeah. Amar Rabbi Yosanan. Kol Isri in Shabbat Torah B'Shishim. Amar Rabbi Amar Rabbanu B'Tama. Amar Rabbanu B'Kapela. Amar Rabbanu B'Shishim. Min B'Sheinu Minu D'Hotera B'Tama. Kagun Trum Shini Torah B'Chulim. Min B'Sheinu Minu Itameno Kohen. Im Embo Tam Trum Amutar. The Isura Kagun Chalev Shinter Bibas or Chalav Shinter Bibas, Itameno Kapela Nochri. Imo Mershe Botam Chalav, Katafa Rashba, the Ainsarich She Uman Bakach. Ela Filus Stambne Adam, Shakolta Amsheno Nirgash, the Stambne Adam Enotam. That's very important, the little halacha there, that, that one little point, which to remember that the idea of having a that, that it, it, Whatever the idea of kafela is, without deciding what, what that means, it doesn't mean that he's an expert an expert taster, because uh, we we're not interested in taste that can only be perceived by an expert. We're interested in taste that would be perceived by anybody. There's a lower level of taste, even that a, a non-expert could taste it. If, an, if a, only an expert could taste it, then it's not going to forbid our mixture. All right, so wait, go wait. So we sort of stopped there. This tour, let me just say a couple of things. First of all, this beginning here, Amar of Yochanan, Kola Sergei Batara Bashishib, doesn't really appear in the gear so that we have. And if you have the uh, version of what I recommended, the Shira Tavora, in his Haga'ot, the Heirot, on the bottom, he writes that. Uh, our version is not like this, and ours has um, um, it has Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Ava Amar Rabbi Yeshua Ben Levi Mishum Bar Kapara. Uh, so we don't have this version. I also pointed out that in Avodah Zara Ayin Gimel Amud Bet there is a, a statement of Rabbi Yochanan Kol Yisurim Shem Torah Ben Noten Tam, which is similar but not the same. Um, and then we quote this other statement, which we do have in our Talmud, which is Amar Rav Amar Rabbanan B'Tama Amar Rav Amar In other words, we have a list here of, uh, of, of different ways in which you could matir or, or, or forbid a mixture. And what are the different ways? And this is what the rabbi said. One is by tama, by tasting. One is by uh, using a kefela. Presumably, kefela is a non-Jewish cook, but presumably he's also tasting. And Abu Rabbi number shishim. And there's shishim. So there's three different ways. Either you taste, either a, either a non, either a Jew taste or a non-Jew taste, or you use shishim. It's interesting that it says Amar Rabbanan, because, I mean, you might say that it's, a all a rabbinic creation because what what would be the torah law baro right the torah law would be baro and so it's amar rabbanan the it's, and as i always read this to mean the rabbis gave us a nice way to remember things there's you know they gave us a nice little sentence to remember you, Jewish tasting, non-Jewish tasting, and six. But maybe what it's saying is these are three rabbinic laws. Um, just the food. For, I mean, I don't. I don't have an hemshech of that idea. I don't have a continuation. I feel like of that. Given the way that it expands on that to then like associate them with the different cases of like it feels like it's mostly just meant as a mnemonic, right? That like. Here are different forms of measuring permissiveness that we found mentioned. We're going to smush them all together and then explain what categories. Those when are. each one is used, right? It is kind of like a summary statement, uh, but it, even so, it could be a summary statement of a rabbinic law because those statements themselves, like what we'll see, um, you know, none of them are wrote. Uh, so then he, the, the tour quotes this statement, the continuation, and then he inserts his own explanation. I, in my version, I like put quotation marks every time it's uh, actually a direct quote from the Gemara. 
and and then I stop. So, for example, when it says "min b'she'eno min adahitera b'tama," that's the end of a quote. In other words, if it's "min b'she'eno mino adahitera," like true, and then he gives an example. What would that be? Truma that mixed with chulin. When it's min b'she'eno mino, it's two different species. I call it species min mino. In other words, two different substances that presumably are detectable by taste. For example, um, you know, maybe barley and wheat. Maybe you can tell the difference. So, yitamenu kohen. Then a kohen could taste it since for him it will be all permitted because it's truma. He can eat the truma and he can eat the non-truma. Imein botam truma muter. And then he goes on, isura. That's a continuation of the of the quote. And then he gives an example. So here, so let me go back to Aaron. So what is the example? Sorry, my internet just cut out for a second. Can you hear me? Ah, yeah, I can hear you. The, the example, Kagon Chalev. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, sorry, my internet cut out. I can hear you. Okay, great. Um, the example... No, here's exactly the point. It's Chalev. Ah, this is Chalev Babasar. Yeah, here is Chalev Babasar. So, Yitamenu Kfeila. And what's a Kfeila? Well, he says Kfeila Goy. So, he means a chef who's not Jewish. A Kfeila is a chef. Um, did anybody look up the word kefela? What what uh, the origin of that word? I think I I think I did. I don't remember it exactly, but I think it was like a like an owner of a of a of some not only of a restaurant. I think it, it was basically an owner of the place. But, but right. he was in contact with like tastings and was exactly. It's a it's a it's like a bar. Uh, uh, right, you're right. An in uh, an owner of an inn or something like that. Hmm. A restaurant. Um. So go on. If he says, "Vechatav od inhu oman afilu yodesh somchin alav neeman sheino mafsin chazkatov veyashmi sheoser ad she he oman umasiach lafid tuma." So wait a second. So what are the possible goy gentiles you could use? There's a possibility of a a stam goy and of a goy who's an oman. And what's the difference? One one has uh, either is a better taster because he's a chef or has some sort of better culinary sense. No, I, I don't think so. No. What, what's the point of the of the I mean the the not the, the difference seems to be about how how much you can trust them also. Right. But also if they're making a living at, off, off of their reputation. Also, if they're making a living, right? Because they're making a living, they go together. Because they're making a living off of their 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 profession, you can trust them more. Right. I would say not also for the Rashba. That's like Dafka the point, right? Because like right. the Rashba, like some some of the people say that Oman is because they have like a more refined palate, and so like they're better at like discerning taste. But the Rashba says that like any like the taste has to be something that anybody could recognize. So the only significance of an Oman would be somebody who their like reputation is dependent upon their reliability and tasting. And, and this gets into the issue of, of a believe, how much we can believe what a goy tells us. The and, notion of being able to believe strikes me always as, uh, as crucial as, as was said right now. And therefore it's a, lot, it's a lot different than by saying someone's an expert. In other words, we want this to be doable. Kefela is doable. We just ask the kafela. It's not that we have to. We have to give the kafela bechina, or that he studied in some school in uh, in Paris, right. and then they, you know, he went this certificate. Normal person can do it, but he, but he's trustworthy because he needs his reputation. Okay, good. It's kind of like uh, what Rav Moshe Feinstein says about. Uh milk in 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 uh, america that you can because 
companies, if they would mix other milk into the into the cow milk, would lose their license and get fined heavily by the FDA. So they have a reputation, or in this case, uh, you know, they have to keep their license with the government. It's very similar. This this guy who's tasting, he people will say, "What? You couldn't taste that there was pork in that." Everybody, we all taste it. You're we're not going to go to your restaurant anymore. You don't know how to taste things. Um, so because of his profession, he will be trusted to tell us the truth. Um, that's what the Rashi is saying, right? Neeman, he says. He will, he will try to not lose his reputation. And there, and there are those who require, basically up till now, the Rashi was saying there's one or the other. Either he's a regular guy and he's Messiah Lefitumo, which means he is unaware that we are asking him uh, about this, you know, wh why we're asking him this, or even if we're asking him this. He just thinks, you know, maybe we come up to him and say, uh, tell me, do you like this pea soup? And then he says, oh, yes, but it has a strong taste of pork. You know, ah, so that's what we'll see tomorrow. We didn't ask him about that. He just told us. Um, right, I mean, for the Rashba, as we're saying, his only metric seems to be reliability, right? That like, he thinks that, any person is able to distinguish what would be meaningful time. And so we only care about whether we could believe someone. Whereas exactly. we need it to be both an Oman and Messiah Lefitumo. We're worried both about their reliability and about like a more like refined oh. ability to taste things. Because well, not necessarily, not necessarily. No, because there's, an expression that, there's an expression they have in Yiddish, which is called uh, Schleikas mit Gartel, which means like you have suspenders and a belt. In other words, your pants don't want to fall down, so you put a belt; they don't fall down. If you also put suspenders, then they certainly won't fall down. But Is it's it not that they providing. Thing? It's not necessarily. Let, let me just finish. It's not. I heard what you said, but it could be, and that it's not that they are providing two different functions, but that they're both providing the same function. Both being an uman, they, they just like really. We want to make sure he's not lying, so he has to be double. And we're going to see the base Yosef exactly understands it that way and takes issue with it because of that. No, but the whole point is that, I mean, like that, that is part of the base of thing is that like, it's not, it's not adding any extra reliability. The fact that he's an Oman, if he's Messiah Lefi Tumo, right? The exactly. whole reliability element of the Oman is based on them not wanting to like lose their creds, which they don't know is at risk if they don't know what's happening. I agree with you hundred percent. That's the base Yosef's attack. But that doesn't mean that the opinion that says we need both has some other thing in mind. It could be that the opinion says we need both actually thinks you need both just to be doubly sure. And 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 that's and you're right. That's the attack on that but on, his, on him. But let's stick with his, I think his opinion, we don't know why he says this other reason. He just says you need both. So I would say it's a belt and, a, and suspenders. But yeah, you want to say something. Uh, yeah, I got the feeling that there was maybe something else going on here, that it wasn't just that we don't trust them because Gentiles are generally liars or something. It was that we are worried, like we ex we suspect them of like wanting to get us to go against our laws. And therefore it's Davka if they know that this matters for us for our for our religious purposes, then we suspect that they will lie to mislead us. In which case, right, it's 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 playing the force of like that motivation yeah. that we suspect you still have, to have against the force hmm? right but you still have to contend if he's talking to mo why would we care that he's uh a chef he's not going to lose his reputation unless can you think of a case where he would no what no what in other words if he's Messiah, what lexi said and we're about to we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll see that in a bit yourself is that if he's Messiah to mo no, but so if he's, he's talking Lefitumo, to and his he like buddy, says, and he says he doesn't taste it, and other people taste it, he could still lose his reputation. 
Right, that if we say Masiach Lefitumo is just premised on not knowing that this is for like a halachic purpose, but they still, again, like know that they are being asked about like distinguishing taste, right. then if they're yeah. like a chef and they can't distinguish taste, you could argue that like that still hurts their reputation, even if they don't know the stakes associated with it. Right. But also Masiach Lefitumo could be that uh, he is being asked by his fellow Goy, and then he doesn't want to lose his reputation there also. So he's not lying. In other words, you could imagine a case where Goyim are viewed as just liars, and they just say all kinds of things. They're in the, they're in the bar with their friends, and they're saying, yeah, I saw, I saw so-and-so dead. You know, I, they're just, they just say, I'll make up all kinds of stories, tall tales to tell one another, even though they uh, don't know that it's relevant to Jews. So it could be that if he's not a chef, he may be a liar in the sense that he'll say, I can taste pork in this thing, or I can't taste, there's no pork in this thing. He'll just say that to his friend because he just likes to lie. And even though he doesn't know where we're listening in and it's no relevant, he doesn't know it's relevant to us, but he's still going to be a liar. Ah, but if he's a, chef, a, a cook, then he may lie about everything, but about this he won't lie because this is his this is his pride. So it could be that we do need belts in the suspender. We need it's not enough that that he doesn't know we're relying on it. He may be lying anyway, just because he enjoys bragging or lying. Ah, so if he's if it's a cook, then we're sure he won't lie. Um, and if he's just a cook but he knows why we like it, why we need him, then he may lie anyway just because he hates Jews. You know? So you may need both of them just for the sense of just for the sense of getting to the truth. And it has nothing to do with being expert. Because the Rashma holds, I think it's a ironclad opinion that it's the like we like I said before, is Stam Bene Adam. Shakol Tam Sha'eno near Gash, the Stam Bene Adam Eno Tam. It, it must be it's it's not called a Tom if only a chef can taste it. So there's no need to use a chef for any purpose other than ne'emanut. So let's, wait, so before we go on, let's go to the... Uh, of, of Nahum? Yeah. Can I, yeah. Can I, can I, I, I just, I, I don't know if I saw this somewhere, this is from my own kind of, uh, you know, uh, sechel here, but um, it's also possible it's not a belt and suspenders in the sense that if I asked a regular person to taste my food, they might get suspicious and be like, hmm, something weird is going on here, you know, and, oh, and yeah, then yeah. they... Versus Anuman, maybe it's it's quite possible that people go to the tavern keeper all the time to ask them, like, you know, hey, and especially I think back in the day, there were times when people did a lot of their cooking, you know, in in in. So there's kind of what you're saying is there's no such thing as Messiah Lefi Tumo if the guy is not a chef. Exactly. Because he'll always figure out that we're doing something weird if you're coming over to me and asking me about this, you know, offering me a pot of soup, you know, in the middle of the night. I'm going to figure out that you need it for something, even if you don't say anything. So that's another process. So, so, but that would sort of mean that there's no such thing as Masiyah Lefi Tumo, unless it's this. And then, right, but then you need Masiyah Lefi Tumo, even in that case. Anyway, that's kind of what I was saying with suspenders and a belt. You're, uh, suspenders and a belt. You're just kind of giving me another example of when it would be necessary. But let's look at the Beit Yosef. So, Lexi, maybe you want to read Beit Yosef. <clears throat> Uh, I may. I want to not the beginning of the Beit Yosef. We'll skip the beginning of the Beit Yosef, just to the second section where he says Ketav Harashba. Okay, Ketav Harashba. Vein Tzarich Sheoman Bekarach Ela Afilus Afilus Dam Bnei Adam Bechule. B'Torah Tabai Taruch Hevira Yamid Amrina Big Mara Bishlama Truma Taim La Kohen. Beloka Amar Taim La Kohen Kfeila. Right, that it says okay. like in the case of like the Isor like the the sorry Mim Bimino or Mim Bishon Amino De Hetera. It says that like you could have a Kohen taste the truma. I didn't say anything about the Kohen's like chef credentials. It just like implied a Stam Kohen. So um, therefore, Stam B'nai Adam is not, is not. If it would require expertise tasting, we would require an expertise Kohen. But we don't. We don't. So therefore, tasting in general is anybody. Um, right, so like the fact that also Rava is using these, like this, this, this whole statement, he's making them like equivalent, as, a, as, equivalent, right? as equivalent ratios. 
as equivalent quantities. And therefore, whatever right. quantity that a Stam ben Adam would take, that's called Tama. It's kind of the same argument. Correct. It, it, it's, it's essentially reiterating the Kohen thing because we explain the Amor Abanam Batama as being about like Nimshim Shabdatera, like the Kohen tasting the Truma. But in any case, it's a good argument that he says, like, mm -hmm. from the fact that we don't mention anything about a like Jewish chef, it implies that chef like Lav Dafka, it's just that maybe like in the case of a non Jewish person, we um, are Hoshish that like Stam Goyim are lying all the time, but with a Kfela, um, they won't like ruin their reputation. Um, they can okay, go on. Uh, okay, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So I got it. 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 So I um, Dafka, even if they do know, um, it should be fine because, like, they don't want to ruin their reputation. And if it's a non kfela and they don't know what the circumstances are, we're not so worried about them lying. Um, right, so it's either or. It's, it's basically saying it's, it's either or. Not like what was saying, that, like, we don't actually think that, like, Goyim are necessarily just, like, pathological liars who do it all the time for fun, but that they like might be tempted to lie specifically if they know what the like halachic stakes are. But if you're just like, can you right. taste pork? They're like, no, I don't taste pork. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the opinion that says you don't need suspenders in a belt thinks that goyim are basically not liars. And so you can rely on them as long as they don't know what you're trying to get at. Right. And then the last bit is just again teaching the uh, right? oh, there are some who now, require yeah. right who require both. And notice this last four three words is not quoted in the tour. Tour left it out. What's the final opinion of the Rashba? But like the probably you should have a fail on the yeah yesh lachush the divrehem you need suspenders and a belt so optimally optimally what up well yesh lachush I don't know yesh lachush yes I think is opt optimally no right. you have situations in which you might have the other um, other possibilities of making a uh, distinction other times you might not. The best would be the optimal, but mm -hmm. uh, no, this comes. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Right. Um, you know, it's not a nothing to have suspenders in a belt, even though it sounds comic and it sounds paranoid. It doesn't mean that in all situations. If you have no other way of getting out, I mean, there's a pressure of the situation. Uh, getting a phone call, getting a phone call because there's 100, 140 kids about to have lunch on, Shab on, uh, on the Tuesday afternoon in the summer camp and getting at me, getting a phone call from a town that saying, what do we do because we have this problem, that problem. But I gave the, you know, and it's not suspenders right. and belt that I get. Right, so then you, you know, you have the other passports. But that's also right. part of this like your question that we see in general with the the kfela slash stam goy of like how much do we see this as something that you need to be pursuing versus like if it's there and available. Like I feel like the yesh lechuch is like if you have the option between a readily available chef and a readily available non chef, probably you should go for the chef. But especially depending right. on opinions, like you don't need to try and find a kfela, especially if there's already shishim, then well, like- what's the, Right. You know, what's the proof that you're all... right? Who agrees with you? Ra not uh, just Rebel Andes, but also the tour, because the tour didn't quote these lines. In other words, the tour left this out. He understands this as like just to, it's not the Iker opinion of the Rashba. He doesn't even quote it when he mentions the Rashba. Even though, if you would read the Rashba independently, you would say, well, he poskins like the, like both, you need both. But the tour says, no, that's not what he really means. He really means you just need one or the other. All right, continue, continue with the next bit here. Yeah, the bit, yeah. Uh, 
the lily do who should the flow the bar east or the head there I can't sure know um all right so the Rosh says you have a kfela taste it this is like a non-jewish baker or chef whatever um and learn from it that you can rely on them um if they are like unaware that you are like relying on them for a matter of a sort of hair um wait, wait, wait. so wait a second wait, 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 go on we got a there's two points that he's saying here what are the two points one is he says how he is defines he, as how is he paskini how is he paskini like like the yesh like the yesh lachush or like the rashpa before that as in i think the most straightforward reading i mean like look he you can say you could say his nachtum is him saying Fela Davka, or you could say it's him giving a definition of what the Gemara is saying, but he thinks it's like Lav Davka, right? Minimally, okay, that's exactly that's that exactly the argument in the Beit Yosef. But the but the simple correct. reading is what um, minimally he thinks that you do need to have Messiah Lafi Tumo, um, and even the though reading is that he's not um, Messiah Lafi Tumo. Because he has right? to be that also he, he has, also has to be Messiah Lafi Tumo, and also. Uh, and also uh, be a nachtom. And then what's the second part he says? He says, that the second part is actually more interesting. He gives a definition. I mean, right. He says like, again, like we've been saying that they should be kind of like unaware of what does that specifically consist of? He says it specifically consists of like, they shouldn't know it's a kosh root question that you're asking. In other words, you're allowed, normal Masih Lefitumo, the classic case is, we want to give a woman, uh, we want to take, a woman doesn't, we want to allow her to get remarried and her husband is unknown. And we heard two Gentiles, you know, through the window, we heard two Gentiles discussing how they saw Ploni, her husband, dead. So we, that's normal, Messiah be too much. Rabbi Lannis, you want to say something? One Gentile. <laughs> Well, he's got to be talking to somebody. I just mean the second. <laughs> okay. He, no, no, he, he's not just. just I hope the if there's Just nobody the else in the room and he's saying, I saw this person right. dead, that he might be <laughs> schizophrenic okay. and we might not rely on him anyway. It wasn't uh, an accusation. You know, yes. what, what, I'm just saying, there's okay. probably. Uh, we hear one guy saying, I saw so and so to another guy, presumably, mate, or maybe even to a Jew, I saw so and so mate. And we overheard him. He had no idea that this was a relevant piece of information because if he did know he would be he would probably be lying and just trying to ruin our halacha so that's the normal case where where he has no idea and the and the rosh is expanding it in an amazing way he's saying it just means that he doesn't know why we're asking him but we can ask him I mean, so we can say to him please taste the soup well go ahead he's being dafka about the chef thing then this actually gets at i think what joel said about like you know, maybe the reason that if it's a chef, the only thing that's Messiah with Itumo that you require is that he not knows for Isser Behetter is that like, it's not a weird thing to ask a chef to taste something, right? And so like asking a random person, have you seen, did you see if so-and-so died by the way, mm -hmm. is like a bit of a weird question, but like going up to a chef and be like, hey, what does this taste like? Is not like such a bizarre scenario right. and so in that case you're not going to necessarily make them suspicious um that this is for some other purpose exactly so we're getting this very nice def exactly we're getting this very nice definition now of 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 messiah lefi tumo is expanded from its basic meaning to include now where he does where we're talking to him we're asking him to evaluate this we're asking his we're asking him to do this for us but we're just not telling him that it's has any significance in our legal system can I can I one thing? Uh, I, I just wondered because uh, it, I don't know what was the social setting, uh, but it seems to me that the non-Jews were pretty much around in the Jewish societies in the Middle Ages, right? Like like reading like uh, Yaakov Katz and Goisha Shabbat and all this. So it seems that they would have non-Jewish servants pretty commonly. Uh, so uh, it, I, I mean, it, it just could. Say yeah. Well, there was like, never a time that Jews did not have Goyim. Right. So, yeah, I, I mean that there were a lot of non-Jews were around, right? So even in the kitchen, presumably not doing the main things, but uh, that 
it, it could be easy, uh, it would be very easy to find a non-Jew uh -huh. in your household. Uh, so that, that's just for those who think that uh, it doesn't have to be a chef, it's just Monsieur um, right. would be would be enough because you, you can do it oh, with, I see you know, without, without that person uh, to notice that uh, well, that you really want something specific like uh, related to Isu Veheta, you can just... Uh, but Lehefech, something that comes up in one of the later sources, them being a part of why we can't rely on the Goyim anymore, is that they generally know what we're asking them about with these mm. questions. And so, like, mm. especially the Afghan it's Goyim who are, like, working in your kitchen, mm. probably definitionally they do need to know some things about Kashrut. And so if you're, like, asking your servant, hey, does this, like, pork, they probably actually do have an idea of why. <laughs> All right, let's go All on. Right. Let's go on. Okay. We, I want to continue. Okay. Um the Rosh bit, the... So now that's the Rosh's word, Ad Khan Lashano. Now we're going to discuss it. And then, Zashi Katav Rabbeinu, the Katav Arani Avia Rosh, Zal Shatarich Shalei Yada, Shim Kena Lava Kulei. Kalamar, Im Parash, Padivar Arash, Shuhu Sover, Kadivar Hamachmirin, Ella, Lein Yan, Shin Tarich Shayem, Asiyat Lepi Tumo. Aval, Lein Yan, Ibai Kfeila, Bidafka, Im Bidbarav Hachra. So... We go back, look at, the, look at the tour again. What does the tour say? <laughs> Right, so the tour quotes the Rashba, although as we pointed out, not his last few words. Um, and he follows up the Yeshomri, uh Yeshmi Shoser at Jay Omanu Masiat Lefi Tumo, the Khen Katav Arani Avia Harosh Zal, Sri Shalya Dash and Khinala of Binyani Sorbaheter. Right. The only thing that the tour explicitly says in the Bakhain is that um they need to not know that we're relying on them for an issue of Isurbaheter. In so other they, words, the definitional part. The definitional part about what is the definition of a siyach lefi tumo. So the cane, you see, if you read the word for cane, you could be, in this case, misled into thinking that he means he agrees with, um, well, no. Or as well, in, like, right. if you only read that part, you might think that the Torah is saying that, like, vadai, the Rosh agrees with the yeshmish oser aji heshtehem, right? That, like, you definitely no, but actually, wait a second. Think if I stop for the because the tour didn't actually say the yesh lechush the shneihem. No. Oh I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I quote the yesh misha oser ad shiye umano seich lefi tumo v'ken katav ani arosh. You might think that the king goes on that last part, but you need both. And what the Beis Yosef is telling us here is that love dafka. The king doesn't really mean, and so he agrees. It means, and and additionally, it doesn't mean more. It doesn't mean. It just means additionally, the Rosh tells us that you need to be um, a person who you don't know that they're relying. Right. That basically, like, the Rosh is full, like, on the Rashba's opinion that, like, if it is a Nachtum Kfeil or whatever, like, that they don't need to be Masiyat Kofitu Mo. But it's not clear that he's full, like, on the opinion that it, like, um, doesn't have to be a Kfeil. Right. Like, it's possible he would agree that, like, a non-chef could also be the tasting right. in Good any point. case. In other words, the ikker, the ikker is that he's Masih Um I think there's a is there a, is, there's a Drisha here. Um you know but well there's a Drisha here which goes into debate we, we're not gonna have time for it so we won't do it. But the Drisha here that goes into debating exactly what uh whether the whether the base Yosef is right or wrong. Because, and in fact, the Taz also talks about this. And, and what do I mean right and wrong? Basically, according to the Drisha and the Taz, the, the, the Beit Yosef is wrong. And actually, the Rosh requires both. Um, another, just because, and that's kind of what he says there. He does, like, like Lexi originally wanted to say, that it's, he's a Nachtom and he's Messiah Chafit Tumo. So that's what the the, the Prisha and the and the Taz are going to later say, but we'll we'll just go on now in the Beis Yosef anyway. Just so bear that in mind that there's a there's a there's a kind of debate going on here of what the Rosh's opinion is, and uh, the two the, the Beit Yosef is 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 giving a very nuanced reading of the Rosh, where he's saying that all he's that that he really doesn't mean. Uh, you, you must have a nachtom, you must have a, a professional. It just means you have to be a sikh of itumo. And the fact that he mentioned what a nachtom was, was just sort of parenthetical to define what the word kefela is, but not that so, you actually require a kefela. 
It's interesting in the Drisha, he brings up the fact that like the, the omission from the Rashba, because the Drisha reads the Tor as saying that the right. Rosh agrees with the entirety of that Yesh Misha Oser Ad Nehem, right? That like the, the Rosh does accord with that stricter opinion of it needs to be both Kfela and Masiach Pitumo, that since he reads the Tor as bringing the Rosh's like Haskama, he didn't need to add Vayesh L'chush L'divrehem because he's already saying Yesh L'chush L'divrehem mm -hmm. by saying and my father agreed. Exactly. With Thank you. Thank you for summarizing that. Exactly. In other words, I'll say that again because you said it so, but even though you said it so nicely, I'll say it again. In other words, the he reads the Ken Katav as being, and, and he agrees with the Yesh Machmirim, and, and that's why he didn't bring the end of the Rashba, who also says that because he didn't need to bring it twice. Okay, well, let's go he on. didn't need to report that the Ashba holds that way as long as his as long as he wants to bring his father, once he's bringing his father that says that, then he's done. He doesn't need to also bring the Ashba. You could go either way with that argument, but let, let's but just bear just be aware, really. Is, I, I'll, I'll leave it to you for your own time to get into it because we won't have time today. But let, let's go on. The Vatosva? Yeah, maybe uh, Yavni, you want to. Okay. That's what uh, mine is. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you, know, there's, you, you need a kafela when he is aware of what's going on. If you wouldn't be yeah. aware of what's going on, you wouldn't need a kafela. Kind of like that first opinion in the Rashba. Either one or the other. And go on. Uh, Uh, I don't. I disagree. I think that yeah. Beit Yosef is claiming that that the Tosfot are saying you need both. No, the I don't know that that's Dafka obvious in the Tosfot, but I think that's how the Beit Yosef is reading it. We said debating on me. What? You need a kfela that's not Masiach Lapitumo, according to the Tosfot. In other words, it's uh, the Tosu says it's a, once he's a kafeda, uh, he's okay, not okay, going okay. to he's not going to mishak here, and that's okay, enough. Okay, okay, fine, yeah. And, uh, and 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 he's sort of and he's saying Nira, like, why are we worried about him being mishak here? It must right. be it must, it must be, be that it. he's not mishak lefi tumo. Otherwise, right. we would have a different reason to know that he's not mishak here. Right, right, right. Good. V'chen uh, da'atran shekatav. Wait, wait, wait. Just let me stop you for a minute. So he's saying yeah. like this. He's saying, um, if we're, we're talking, he's really, really spelling it out. Since he's, we're, we want it to be a kafela, and that he's 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 not going to give it ruin his reputation. Uh, you don't need that he's mesech lefi tumo. It's lav dafka. It would be right. nice if he's mesech lefi tumo, but it's not necessary. Right. I disagree. I think it's not saying it's it's. It would be nice if it's mesech lefi tumo. I think he's saying. Well, he's dafka. about to say he's about to say dafka, but at first he said lav dafka she mesech lefi tumo. Because of Rashi, even though Rashi maybe says you need both, but, right, but go on. The Khan, the Kol Shikay, and his I think actually, that is the what Lexi's about to say. Wait, Lexi's just reading ahead. Lexi's saying what it's about to say, but here the Khan, 
the call she came to Lomar in Afshe, him who yodea she yesh kapeda devar. He for sure won't um, ruin mm -hmm. his reputation if he knows that it's important, that it's a kapeda, that it's devaring Yisra Beheter. In other words, Dafka, it's good to tell him that there's a kapeda bedavar, that this is an important matter. Um, uh, because then he'll take it seriously. So when he's a chef, it's perhaps better that he knows that it's a that it's a thing that has Isra Heter associated with it, because that will cause him to take it seriously, and he won't lie. Um, I was Jennifer, I've, I yeah. Ube Yisrael, I read, yeah, go ahead. No, I, I was uh, just a question. The Ukmoshe Katav. Is, Rashi Katav that it is Davka and so he's saying not that love Davka right? Like right. it's not like Rashi. The law applies to the right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uvi Israel lo shane kfeila velo shane lav kfeila samchin anale vahainu da amrin an begmara be detaim la kohen. Ilma Bechol Kohen Sagi, the Afalgav, the love, Kfela, who had Kanashono. Okay. So basically, we're just getting this opinion that maybe it's better that he knows if he's a Kfela. Okay, we go on. Umidivre Ramba. Umidivre Ramba, Nire the Alcol no Hisumkin, Afalgav, Sheno Kfela. שכתב בפרק תדבע מהלכות מאכלות אסורות, ואם היה בשר וחלב או יין נסך וכו', תואם, תואם אותם הנוכרי וסומכין על פיו, אם אמר אין בו טעם. So you notice he just says הנוכרי. He doesn't say yeah. any, he, he doesn't say either. He says, he says גרנשט. He doesn't yeah. say it's a כפילה, and he doesn't say it's a שיח לפי תומו. He just yeah. says, תואם, the guy just tastes it and סומכין על פיו. Yeah, you rely on his words. Go ahead. Uh, okay, go on. Just help me. What's the shita that we believe, Rambam believes Stam Goy? I mean, why does he believe Stam Goy? But that we trust them? Okay. We, we, that we trust Goy? Yeah. yeah. How does, is, is the Gemara fit to, does the, does the Gemara fit to the Rambam? Could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. could be. The Gemara, yeah, how would you read the Gemara then? Yeah. Show me how the Gemara fits. It says, Itamenu Kfela. Right. So it certainly doesn't mention anything about Messiah Lefitumo. And how would the Rambam learn the word Kfela? Uh, going back to Joel's uh, explanation in Joshua, right? That Kfela could just be a tavern keeper. It could be, the, oh, this is the guy reading with, but he doesn't have to. Yeah, it's like Divra Torah Bahove, it says. Like the Torah took, or the, in this case, not the Torah, but the, the rabbis, just use the most logical case. That's a normal case. Normal case. You could even say. You could even so, say the Shita Sarambam that a the the Gemara stated about a kfela, even though we might say he has an interest to like please us as a or a. And it's a. Call Shikina. Call Shikina. A regular guy. Yeah, he's he, like he's a he's the Shita, the complete opposite of the Rashba. They're like. Talkless, the Messiah Lefito needs to be completely, uh, like, completely tam. Like, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I just want to say, without having to say it later on, for me, part of the Gemara, so, I mean, part of the starting of the first year, this kind of like terrible fall from a state of grace in which we can believe each other. And then we only can believe certain people. And the more we have the argument of why we can believe, the harder it is to believe, because most people don't have these requirements. And I mourn, this is, for me, it's the fall, it's the fall. So that's, I'll say something else later, but 
this is the fall. I feel like tearing Korea right now. Okay, that's it. Nothing has heard this from me before, but yeah. It, it, is Rashi is the is Rashi the earliest source we have for the idea that we need Messiah Khalifi Tumul? Like that that's an issue here? Uh yeah. I, I, uh, who was before Rashi? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't yeah, know like, Gaonic he, literature he just sort of, so he, well. Like comes out with it. It's funny because Rashi is usually there to yeah. You'd have to look at Otsar Gaonim. You'd have to look at Otsar Gaonim. Mm. Um. So the song Rimal Pete. Go ahead. The Imamar ain't bo tam or shamar shigish bo tam. Um, um, uh, sorry, uh, where are we at? I'm sorry, I joined really late. We're in the Beit Yosef, uh, the section that starts for um, oh. and we're right, we're sort of towards the middle end of it. We're discussing the Rambam, Medivre Rambam. Yeah. So we're just quoting the Rambam here. So he says, if a guy tells us that it has no taste or it has a taste but it's bad, that would be a concept of Tam Lif Gam. Then it's mutter. So go ahead. Go uh, from Hare who Hare Oh yeah, sorry. Jo. Shrek. Hare Shalom Skir Nachton. Ela Nochristam. Venire Shehu Sover de Kfeila de Kamar Talmuda. Love Davka. Ela Orcha de Milta Nakat. Orcha de Milcha Nakat. That's the expression we need to know. That means right. it's just uh, the normal normal yeah. occurrence. Yeah. The normal yeah. way it would occur. Yeah. Oh, and here's another oh, explanation. Oh, shekol haba litom karui kfeila al shem mashu ose bota sha'a ve she shatima This is very, by the way, this shita, this shita is very in, in line with the Rambam's general opinion, which is based on Aristotle when he talks about the Navi the Navi is a Navi only when he's having Navua. When he's not having a Navua, he's not a Navi. So to hear, any, any, and any person that gets Navua, at that moment, he's a Navi. Moshe Rabbeinu was special that he was a Navi all the time. And, and this Nachto, at the moment a Goy starts tasting, he puts on a chef's hat. He is now being, he's acting as a, a you know, many people have many roles. Life is a stage. <laughs> <laughs> and you play many roles, and sometimes you're an Achtom. <laughs> Another justification could be that, like one of the places this comes up in the Gemara, at least it's a, it's the it's the case that's brought to Rabbi Yochanan. So, like maybe like in that case that was a kfeila, and that's what got repeated. Is he's, is Rabbi is, is Rabbi Yochanan? If he was said, a mule, if he was a mule driver, they would have said the mule driver. Well, I don't right. yeah exactly. Okay, yeah. but that's not exactly fitting because when Rava says it, he says it as a as a uh, pronouncement of a summary of the law, and right. then he wouldn't be stuck with a particular case. So, so we're going to go on. Venira od she'eno matzrich she'en mesiach lefi tumo. Deim ken havalei lichtov ken beferush. So we've got this extreme case. We basically got uh, Rashi and perhaps, and, and, and the Rashba, and perhaps the Rosh, who are saying you need both. Then we have the Rashba in his first part saying you just need one, and the Tosva saying you just need one. And then we have the Rambam who says you don't need either. You don't need either that he's a Messiah to be Tumor or that he's an expert. Okay, now go on for old. Uh, oh, this is a very subtle, subtle point here. He's saying Somchim al Piv, it sounds like we're 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 like looking up at him with the uh, you know, large eyes and waiting to hear what's coming out of his mouth. Will he tell us his mutter? Will he tell us us there? We're some came out peeve. So it sounds like it's a case where he knows that we're relying on it for halacha. So, it, I mean, this is a, not a really even a deal. This is just a sensitivity to the language. It's not a uh, proof, but it is, it does sort of fit.
You understand yeah. what I'm saying? He's making it's, it's an unusual bit Yosef because he just he doesn't really he's sort of he's being aware of a nuance of the way the Rambam writes, and it's not a proof in the Rambam, but he says it's it's mashma. It's just mashma. It sounds like that. Okay, now go on. Venerally. ונראה לי שמאחר שהרמב״ם מקל בדבר, יש לסמוך על ספרת התוספות והרשב"א והר"ן, דלא מצרכי בכפילה שיהיה מסיח לפי תומו. ובנוכרי דלאו כפילה סמכינן הרמב״ם והרשב"א דשרי בי, והראש לא אשכחן, והראש לא אשכחן דפליג, ומי הוא נראה שצריך שיהיה מסיח לפי תומו כיוון דלאו כפילה הוא. So this is like a very weird way of phrasing this. Can you go, so what does he first yeah. say? He says, yeah. so first he says, because, we, because the Rambam is so mekil, then we can trust those who say that for the kfela, uh we don't need him to be mesiach lefi tumo. So we'll right. take so that. Just, just if he's a kfela, that's for sure okay. Right. And then he goes on and says, because, because first of all, we have a bunch of opinions that say that's okay. And plus we have the Rambam. And then he right. goes on. Really? He yeah. Um, and as for the... Wait, what does he mean when he says, Rambam mekel I think that first statement that he said there, Nirali, Shemeacher, 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 that's like a sort of general statement. In, in general, the Rambam is like super lenient. And then we have these Rishonim that say that you need it one. You need, if he's Kafela, that's enough. So, so that we can at least rely on because we have the Rambam who says you don't even, that, 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 that would be a Chumar according to the Rambam. So, so we certainly don't need both. So it's enough once he's a Kafela. And then he goes on and says the second part. And that's you, Javni. And, oh, uh, and then he goes on to say that um, if um, that if it's not a kfela, then uh, then we he says like we trust the Rambam and the, would apply and, and the Ashba that it's that it's allowed, but then in the end he says, um, but we should still require uh, uh, that 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 they be Messiah Lefitumon. Um, well, first he says, he says like this, he says, first of all, Samchina and Al-Ramba. Right, in other words, sort of like the Rambam, if we Samchina and Al-Ramba, that tells us we don't even need a Seich Lefi Tumo. And then he brings the Rashba, the Sharube, Varosh, um, and then he, but, the law Ashkhan de Pali. In other words, we, we don't know what the Rosh says. And then is Mihu Nirish it Sarif Shiemasi. What is that Mihu Nirish it Sarif? Why doesn't he say Aval Bitanai that he's Messiah Lafi Tumo? Why does he say, but on the condition that he's Messiah Lafi Tumo? Why does he say Vemihu Nira de Tsarif? Because He's, he's, you see, because the Rambam would say you don't need it. I, I think Rav Nachum, that's right, because I think he's saying we're we're some chin on the Rambam that you can use a non-expert to taste it, and that part of the Rambam he's willing to 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 rely on, but throw in the no, Rashba. Nobody says you need an expert in the sense of extra tasteability. Um, no, 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 not in terms of extra tasteability, in terms of trust, right? That you that you can rely on a non-expert in, well, in terms of trust, yeah. And the Tosfot may say that also, right? Because the Tosfot say it's only a kefela. Right, it's basically right, but like they say it's kefela because he won't marry nafshe. Marry nafshe, yeah. That doesn't mean right. that he's an expert at taste. It just means... Make he just like basically adds the Rambam's Kulas separately, like and combines them with other right. people, right? He's exactly. This is a classic concept in Paskini that, that you that you. Yeah. In other words, it's a classic concept in in, in Paskini, that you combine various opinions. You say the Rambam would matter uh, for sure. Mitzare. Yeah, it's called siruf. It's called siruf, uh, joining together of different opinions. The Rambam would say it. You don't need. And even the Rosh 
probably doesn't mean you need both. It probably means you just need one or the other. And the Rashma also thinks you need one or the other, except for the Yesh Machmiri. So he's basically saying, he's basically coming out that you need one or the other, but which one does he prefer? He prefers that he's kefela, but he's not a kefela, then maybe that's okay too, but better he should be a sikh I would, I would just add, let's go on. No, just that like, since the Rambam requires neither, we're not gonna go with that opinion because he's the only one who says that, but we can at least go, we can at least add that onto the opinions that seem to be the majority mm -hmm. that you only need one or the other. This is also a halachic book. And we have the issues of what's a ikar halacha, how we could pass it. And then we have an issue where we would call public policy. And public policy here is want to be careful that the H. Machrim, I think are really, concerned about not the Iker had Iker had did, but they're more concerned about okay, what's going to be the policy here? It's like, you know, what's going to be the 40 OU guidelines for how that kitchen is going to be operated, that public kitchen is going to be operated. Now now well, now let's take a break. Um wait, wait, I gotta back. talk. For, okay, you talk for, first. Welcome. <laughs> This is where we're going to start tonight. I wanted to wait till everyone was here. So welcome. Um, we're a group of learners. Um, and what are we interested in this year? I think in this learning, what we're really interested in is really twofold. We're interested, how do you express, how does one express their creativity and their capability in terms of learning such a how lot of work and one, I would say, is really be able to do two things. One is lucidity, getting a, uh, getting a hold on the terms and be able to express sheet tones. And the second is tracing the halacha, the piske halacha. In terms of how things will fall, will finally come down. They'll finally come down. But if you're able, to express the shitot in a lucid way, and you're able to, you know, understanding the terms of the different shitot, and you're uh, and you're able to understand the different shitot halachically, then it's going to come. Um, it's a group of learners. There are people here that have responsibilities. We're very lucky that our uh, team captain here, uh, Nachum. Our chief Maggie Cheer, we're very we're very fortunate in that. We're uh, it's all fortunate, but we're fortunate with that. Uh, Joel is primarily tracing the halachic. Uh, uh, well, we'll see if it's more towards the conclusion. And what he's what we're not interested in, and Joel will, I'm sure will agree with me, are all the unusual cases, and we're not interested in the pilpul so much there's enough understanding of the sheet of understanding the the basic uh, halacha of course it's always fun to put in stuff here uh let's see who's part of the group of learners and has been through this and has taken her bechina we'll also give shirim and uh, you and i may be and the next uh, seaman uh, let's uh yavni is going to help us whether you know about it or not with uh, those who also want, want a little boost in terms of prep. We have to figure out how that's going to work out. We are, I'll need boost in terms of prep. And then it comes to me, unless I forgot somebody. Me, I'm here as the old rabbi, okay? So show me only as much deference as you show other old rabbis, but no, no, seriously, there's something here, you know? Experience, wisdom. What can I? What can I do? No false modesty. I will aspire to experience new wisdom. But we're all learning this together. And for those who've been in share other years, you know that as it turns out, it's at a certain point, it's a little hard to. Uh, hopefully, it'll be hard to distinguish always between who is student and who is teacher. We're learning this together, and really, that's my goal. Uh, was I go for the whole operation. So uh, 
I will periodically be giving share. I had some other projects that I must uh, work in before my contract here is uh, terminated in this world, right? Um, but uh, so therefore I'm working on a couple other projects that I will be within, uh, in and out of the shear that you have. Uh, uh, and I was, I'll add one more person to the whole context and that is Robbie Grossman who's involved to make sure everything works right. So, you know, so there are enough resources to turn to. I'm happy with the number. I'm happy with who's here. If you had someone who makes sense to join us, let us know about that. Don't, you don't have to pick somebody from some other program, but if you want to you know, be part. My goal really at the end is again, as a group of learners, everyone is, is really, I hope this isn't scary, is really contributing and doing part of the action. All right, I'm done with the introduction. So we take Thank a break you. now for how long? Let's take a break. It's now 10.05 to 10.10. 10.10, okay, good. Thank you.
Okay, let's uh, start again. Um, uh, are we back, Ruben? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know, Ilana. I want to go now to the to the Shulchan Aruch. Uh, since we're in this in the midst of this whole uh, discussion of Chayla, um, we need to get the din. Ilana, you want to read? But put on your microphone. Okay, sure. I just have to find it one second. We're going to look at the Shulchan Aruch and the Taz and the Shach on the on this subject. Um. So, Yisur Shnita Rev Beheter, there. Exactly. Okay. Um. Isur shenitare beheter min besheino mino kigon chelev shenitare bebasar yetaemnu oved kochavim im omer shein botaam chelev o she omer she yesh botaam elashehu pagum mutar vehu shelo yesofo lahashpiach vetsarich shelo yedash asomchin alav um, the okay, stop, wait, stop. Oh, okay. So, wait, who is he passing okay. like? First of all, who's lush? Who's lush on is he using, and who is he passing like? He's using the lush of the Rambam. He's using the lush of the Rambam. Why do you say that? Uh, just the shilo is a polish that's for sure. So, for the and what else? Oh, because he says, oh, he doesn't say fail. It doesn't say nachtom. It doesn't say kfeila. He just says goy, or over over kochavim. Over by the way, is not the right kirsa. It doesn't have to be a over kochavim. It could be a, you could be a non idol worshiper. The correct that was just for the censors, I think. But it's goy. Um, and then he adds the next line, which we didn't read yet. I don't think. Which is like Mesiach Lapitumo. Exactly. And notice, and now I'm going to be overly sensitive here, and I, I'll take criticism if you want. Sarich. He says Sarich. He, he doesn't say Ubitanai again. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say on the condition that. He says, but Sarich Shelo Yeda. He uses a little bit of a you know, less strong word. I won't say you don't need it. You need it, but it's it's a less strong word than, you know, the who. He could have said the who shelo yedash. He could have said the who, and that is mm -hmm. is but sarich. Sarich I see as less than the who. It mm -hmm. should be. I would read it like this, and it should be, or it needs to be that you don't. I mean, really correctly, it needs to be that he doesn't know that you're relying on. It's almost like he's not giving you the D and he's just like telling you how to go about doing it. You're right, you're right. This is also true. It's like a it's like a recipe book. Uh, okay, go on. Vim ain't sham of it kochavim letuamo, misharinan bishishim. Um, and this is this is reminiscent of what we saw what we saw in the beginning of the tour about those three day out of Tama, Kvela, and Shishin, right? Like there are there are, there are options of the way there are different Shitot of Rabbanan. And you know, I you know, ideally we would have the Kvela. If we don't have the Kvela, then we we do it like st right. numerically, statistically. But um, but nicely said, ideally we use a Kvela. Ideally we use a Kvela. The chain im humin bimino, kevan de leka la meka matama, misharin ambishishim. So if it's a case where taste is irrelevant because it's two of the same species, then uh, such that, you know, right, right, then then we uh, we we estimate based on quantity, based on batel bashishim. Right. Go ahead, the ain. The ain no hagim, read that, yeah? Yeah. Right. So, so in our days, you know, we nowadays we he says we don't use we don't use the we don't use the the kfela or the oved kochavim. Um, we do it all, you know, numerically, statistically, right. whatever. This is um, this is from the from the eager the uh, the Bala eager uh, 
and the the, the Dark Moshe brings this. And the truth is, in the Kafa Chaim and Ravavadia, they also paskin like this. So whether you're up the halacha, neither the Ashkenazim nor the Sfaradim rely on the opinion of the of the of the, of the Shulchan Aruch here, and they go instead with the with the Ramah. Although because, uh, Ravavadia, again, an unusual being being in press circumstances, press circumstances. That's one comment. Second comment is, I am always interested in this uh, technological, uh, uh, I don't know if that's the right term, but I'll use a technological, uh, uh, a move towards technology. So we'll use shishi, right? We'll use, a, well, here's Beth, we'll use shishi. Or, uh, you know, for Takiya Shoper, you know, Everyone's using a digital a digital watch, so like, so you're more you're more sure, but something is something is lost. Okay, I'm done. No, you're right. It's it's it, it's nice to be like by the, um, you know, we, I would say in Judaism today, people seek authenticity. You know, why do people want to daven at the hotel? Because they think that's the authentic place to do daven. People seek authenticity. And so the authentic halacha seems to be um, seems to be uh, tasty. So that's sort of unfortunate that we go away from that. But uh, yeah, okay, but that's that's the way it is. Now let's go back. Um, let's go back to uh, let's look at the at the Shah bet and uh, if, if, hopefully you can find this, Ilana. If, um, see if you can jump. It's by me. I mean, you're going to have probably a different version. It, it's like about 30, 20, 30 words in. It says, Mikol Makom, Kashali, in Bet. We don't have to start at the beginning. It's 20. Towards the beginning. So just about 20 words in. Okay, I found it. Okay. Um, Umikomakom Kashali Kevan de Pasak be Sif Bet. Okay. Demin Besheeno Mino Asur Mita Oraita Kolshano Tentam. So wait a second. So Min be Min Beeno Mino is Asur de Oraita Kolshano Tentam when it gives time. What's that called? What's the term that we know of that as being referred to as? What famous term did you see in the Gemara's uh, that this is, okay. that it's to write uh, that anytime there's flavor in min b'she eno mino? Uh, tam ki ikar? Exactly. Tam ki ikar, to write uh -huh. That's what it means, right. tam ki ikar, to write right. Right. It means right. Right. that right. when you have Kolo a mixture, right. Kolo it's, it's, tam, it's aser, right. it's aser. ki ikar, it's, right. like, it's like you have right. the substance there, so it's aser. Right, right, right. So right. he passes that. Remember that show, right? That, that that's idea. a okay. huge, a huge machloket. Uh, very important to to remember, even though I always forget. But it's the um, the Rambam Rashi and Rashi. And the Rambam and Rashi both agree that it's to Rabbanan. And Tosos say it's to Raita. Tosos says to Raita. Yeah. So okay. specifically, right. we're going to see Rabbeinu Tam in particular. The Tosos mm -hmm. to look at. Um, the best Tosa to look at is in uh, Voda Zara, Tafsamach Zion Amud uh, Bet. Well, it starts on Amud Aleph, but Amud Bet. That's mm -hmm. the that is the best Tosa to look at for the discussion for the bringing of Rabbeinu Tam's opinion mm -hmm. that it's right Um okay. Mark that down in your in your notes. Um, although, yeah, because we we'll, maybe we'll see it. But Malcolm, but, can you say the citation one more time? Yeah, Avodah Zara, Samach Zion Amud. Uh, Aleph and Bet, the Tosos that sort of straddles those two sides of the page. Avodazara, Samach Zayim. Okay. The Im Ken. Im Ken, Ech Ye Oved Kochavim Neaman Be Mesiach Lefi Tumo. The Hello Shas. Shas Arush. Shas Aruchahi Beperak Hagozel. Shas Aruchahi means it's an obvious place in the Shas. It's like a clear law in the Talmud. 
okay. Beperek Hagozel Batra. Oh, in Kulin. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. De Ein Akum, Messiah Lafi Tumo, Neman Bisur Torah, Ella Beidut Isha Levad. All right, stop there. So, what's this Kasha? Um, how can we trust the how can we trust the 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 Oved Kochavim? Um, even if he is Messiah Lafi Tumo, because we have this clear Gemara that we only trust the Akum. Um, the only Yisur Torah we trust them is to let a woman get married again. And what uh -huh. and what potential mm -hmm. answer? What potential answer to this Kasha did he already annihilate? What potential answer? In the beginning of his words, he 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 sort of. Uh, Ruined one potential answer we could have had. Well, you might just say it's, uh, we go according to to Rashi and Rambam. It's 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 not uh, it, this is not uh, the right issue. That was Rabbanan. Exactly. If you would paskin like Rashi and the Rambam that it's the Rabbanan Tam Ki'ikar, so it's the Rabbanan anyway. We can believe everybody. We can believe Goya. We can believe anything. You know, it's the Rabbanan. Ah, but since he paskin in Sif Bet that it's the Raita. That answer won't work. You got to give me a better answer. Why do we rely on a guy? It's a get. It's deraita here. We're monitoring something that's deraita, and we say we only rely on a guy by Ada Sisha. Mm -hmm. It's a strong caution. So, um... no, but hold on a second. Like we rely on the guy to say whether it's kosher, or whether there's is or not. So if the guy exactly. said there is no time, no, but. If the guy said there's no time, there's no issue to start off with. Well, that's yeah, what no. he'll get the question of there's the suggestion of the difference between Chazeki Sora versus Loi Chazeki Sora, but that comes up later. I want to, I want to, since we are, since you all read this, of course, in your own time, we'll, we'll skip way down to the bottom here because I don't have time to read everything. Um, but at the very end of this Shach Bet, right before Gimel, he says, So you got to skip way down. It's about 60 words. It's 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 on my edition, it's like three lines from the from the end of the shah in the wide lines. Before you get to Gimel. Three or four lines. Okay, I just found it. Do you want me to keep reading? Yeah, it would be great. Okay. Lechach nearly lechalek, didavka hecha de leka lemikam ale lem ale de miltahu. No. Put the comma. Put the, put the comma after Demilta. Oh, okay. Deleka la mekam ale Demilta, who de en ove kochavim mesiach lefi tumo ne eman be isur Torah. Aval bemin she bishe en omino kevan de ika la mekam ale Demilta la hatimo lekfela la hatimo lekfela samchinan ale. So, mm -hmm. want to try to translate that? Um. He says, I can distinguish these two cases. It's only in a place where we cannot. The uh, milta means where the matter will be revealed As where the like, matter will be right, revealed we if the matter will be revealed if the matter won't be revealed then we don't rely on goyim who the ain goy mesiach lefi tumo nema besuri torah that's where even when a goy who's mesiach lefi tumo is not going to be believed when we have torah laws because you could, you'll never know it's just He's the only what, source for this information. Like meaning uh, a case of mincha bimino, because there's no like 
there's no, no way well no words? no not no meaning a case of like uh he says uh that uh i don't know a, a certain uh event happened and then all the people disappeared you know or, i don't know no, anything I mean, that, um, that 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 so and so bought some <laughs> land, so and so bought some land from somebody, and the star got ruined. You, you know, how can we ever prove that he bought the land? And he says this, and the star got ruined. Like he says, I know that this uh, happened, but the star is ruined. So we don't believe him because because we could never find out this thing because even according to him, the star is ruined. There's no way we could ever reveal this matter. And, and, and he has. He, he has no fear of his from being revealed. It's it's like it's like what people what they say at Eshet Torah when they say about like why we don't why the Christian why the Jewish belief in Har Sinai is more reasonable than the Christian because or or you know Christians have beliefs like you know or the Muslims have beliefs like you know Muhammad went up to heaven and all the people who saw it instantly died. So that's why there's no report. You could never find out such an event. You could ever verify it because there's no, the event itself, the story itself, claims that all those who witnessed it are no more. So you could never ask anybody, even in the time that it happened, even the same day it happened. You could never verify. So any matter that we could never find out if he's lying or not, so he might be lying because we'll never be able to know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but a matter where we can reveal what's going on, well, what's the point of him lying? Who then is aval but min b'sheino mino? Our case where it's min b'sheino mino. Kevan the ikka the mekam ale the milta. Since the matter will be revealed, because what's going to happen? You're gonna he's going to say it's there's no taste of pork here, and you say great, and you take the soup home and you take the first spoonful of your soup and you say there's pork here. Mm -hmm. So you spit it out and you say you're go oh, you're a liar. So the, the the the, the uh, lie will be revealed very quickly in this case because the whole point is that I'm going to now eat it. Mm. Um, so that's why we can rely on the goy here because he wouldn't lie not because of siyach pitumo not only that but because the matter will be revealed immediately after he says what he says so it's kind of a dumb lie to me. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where we have because a possibility of lahatimo likfeila samchinan ale, and and therefore we rely on it. Um, okay, that's the terutz of the shach. In other words, this is a huge chiddush. Really, he's saying that we say in the Torah says that the Talmud says you can only rely on a goy when in a certain in the case of Eishes, isha of edut isha to matir anaguna, but there are actually many cases. Any case where the guy's words will be immediately revealed, you could rely on it. Um, I don't know if there's many cases. It's maybe just this case. Let's go back and look at the pause. The pause asks the same question. Give a different answer. Use two answers. So... Here again, I'm going to make you jump in the middle of Taz Bet, but maybe I'll have uh, Sarah. Are you around? Yeah, I'm here. Maybe Sarah, you want to read uh, in the middle of Taz Bet. He gives a different answer. It, it, it's it's yeah, pretty much in the middle, I guess. Uh, the word is Perus. Actually, towards it's not so far down. Um, the terrorists to Sphere Lay the Rashba. Uh yeah, I think I have it. The terrorists to Sphere Lay the Rashba, the Tom Ki Ikar, Lav de Oraita. Okay, so we can resolve the, the question, which I'm gonna assume is the same question we had before. Um that by saying that the Rashba thinks the Tom Ki Ikar is not de Oraita. Right. So then it's Rabbanan, we can rely on a goy. Umide the Rabbanan. So 
So now we're also going to say that. Shaper uh, Samach uh, Arashi. Arashi. This is a little bit of a complicated answer here, but go ahead. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to get it totally right, but he, basically he seems to be saying that um, if you think it's Dirabanan, so you, you you don't follow the his reading of the Rashba, who thinks that it's, or, or sorry, if you think it's Dirabanan, following the reading of the Rashba, then um, the Beit Yosef, who, when he quotes the Torah by Haro and Rabbeinu Tam, think that for something that's Dirabanan, um, Mm. Wait, he, here it goes like it. Let me let me help you. Yeah, yeah. Um, he says like this. Uh, this is Durabanan. Ubeemet ketava beit Yosef b'shem Torah to buy ta'aruf to maskim im rabbeinu tam that we 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 do paskin like it says in Sif Bet that 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 it's duraita. So that was kind of the kasha that the shach asked. How can you say it's Durabanan? Says. Now he says this answer. It could be that we only agree with Rabbeinu Tam El Inyan Ikaradin, just regarding yeah. the yeah. the actual law, the normal law. It's true we agree with him. But when it comes to Masih Lafi Tumo, Shapish, he could in fact rely on Rashi and Rambam. This fear led in other words, maybe we're paskining both sides of this machlok. Some when it so in general we paskin that is deraita, but here b'siach lefi tumo we're going to rely on the opinions of the rabbanah. In other words, it's um, not that. We, yeah. Just just so I understand, is he saying this is how we hold, or is he saying this is how I think the Rashba holds, and we hold like the Rashba? That there's the when when the Beit Yosef seems to say that the Rashba ultimately at the end, as we saw, seem maybe says that actually um, Tom Kikar is Doraita. What the Rashba specifically means is Tom Kikar is Doraita for the Ikar Yeah, I mean you're right. He's he's why exactly he's quoting the Rashba? You're right. He seems to be, he's really just saying it's in the Rashba. You're right, but. But that's his. That's a possible terror. It's at least for the Rashba. This is what the Rashba might think, and that's also like he's explaining it within that context, right? That the Rashba might say, "Really, this is the Iker Adim," but because there are these other reliable opinions, we can use the Lahatkal in the question of Masiach Lefi Right. I mean, this is not his opinion. Let's. This is not his opinion. This is just a possible answer that we're sort of posturing both sides of the issue. But but the Taz does not like this answer, and and neither should you. Because it's very, you know, we do sometimes force into into an answer like that, but usually we like the paskin fully, like one side or the other. So go down now, skip about four lines, and it says Venera Lee. And this is a very interesting answer that he gives now. Another answer. Again, we're trying to answer this question: How can we rely on a goy at all? How can we even entertain that possibility? Adut needs to be a Jew. Um, so, uh, Sarah, can you find where okay. it says? Venere le de Arashba. Yeah. Venere le de Arashba ve Arosh Feralan, de Had de Amrina and Bahakozel, de Ain Messiah Lafitu Mola, a man bemile de Raita, I know bemide de Bay Adut Dashka. So, his he's going to say that the Rashba and the Rosh think. That um, the the assumption that we can we can use um, that m someone who no, is not Messiah Lafit that we can't use someone who is not Messiah Lafit Tumo. Um, no, we can't use even somebody who is Messiah Lafit Tumo. Yeah, sorry for for things that are there, right? So, um is yeah. only in places that require like a dude specifically, but that's not words, actually what's right. going on and that's here. That's not right? here. In other words, not to when we sort of a head tear. When we said that you can only rely on a goy for edut isha, we meant in the context of things that were actually edut. But things that are not actually edut, then maybe you could rely on goyim for more than just edut isha. And that's what he goes on. Umasha ain came. Right. Umasha ain came be sort of a hater. Shapir mehani 
דיברת על לא בעין על עדות גמורה, אלא ואם יש לנו הוכחה, תגי. So it's not that we need like real עדות, we just need some sort of like general kind of evidence. Some הוכחה as a proof. We just need yeah. proof of the, we, we're using it as, as proof of an event, but not as עדות. Like if you would have a video of an event happening, that wouldn't halachically count as edut, but it would be proof that the event happened, right? A video is pretty good proof unless it was tampered with, but uh, but yet it's not technically edut. So maybe that's what the guy is. He's just like a video camera. He's just telling us, or in this case, an, a, a taste, an electronic taster. And that is never was intended by the Torah, by the Talmud to be uh, to be limited to uh, Jews only. Go on. Teda the ha elacha neman beisurin laheter laheter. Um, imken hafina me mesiach lefitumo mize yesh lanu svara shein sham isur v'sagi baza. In other words, we don't even need, you see this is a different category from, from Aguna, because we don't even need, we don't even need Messiah Lofi Tumo. And, and, um, we just need to know that there's no Isser here. Right, we're not really creating an edut. This is a very important right. point. And it he said, like, echad ne'aman be'surim. Normally, edut requires two people, but here, you know, the famous question is like, how, how can you um, eat food at somebody's house? Maybe they're giving you non-kosher food. So the answer is, well, they told you that it's kosher. So, and they're but they're only one person; they're not two people. Ah, so eid echad ne'aman be'surim. He is so one person. The, he, doesn't the fact that we're calling it Edechad mean that it's actually a dude? It's just that we have a rule that says that in this particular case, we think Edechad is sufficient, but in like general, you know, in a dude isha, we need to read. I think the I hear you, but do you agree I, that you don't have that the aid is not going to the bait in and and and, and uh, testifying? Sure, I'm just front. saying like maybe the uh, distinction between like Hachacha and a dude is like not as clear as you might get out to be. That's all. Well, I think hey, this is a Hiddush of the Taz. He's not saying this is Edu, right? We have, I think he's actually referencing the reasoning that we have behind the principle of Edechad Neman Bisurin, which we see come up elsewhere, where we say Edechad Neman Bisurin applies Dafka when something is like Lo Itchazek Isura, right? Why yeah. are we able to have this cool, right? But like, again, the idea I'm just is making like, a linguistic point, right? Which is that like the fact that we call it Edechad suggests that it's not crazy to think that the category of a dude is applicable here. Right, but also Agreed. on the whole, the whole idea of Eidechad is they're not actually doing a dude at all, right? Like, it's it's like a kind of like fake principle in the sense that when we say Eidechad, it's that like we don't require testimony from the person who shefted about like, like we, we trust them, right? That they shefted the thing and they don't need another adult standing and watching them. We trust the person to have separated their truma. So they don't actually like, give a dude in those in those respects right and so here the idea okay like they're like aid echad is essentially like not even an aid we trust the person doing this right so like it's not really proper aided at all and it's because of this idea of like we have no chazaka of iser well i mean in nida the cloth the badika cloth is called an aid right the aid right. doesn't have to be the aid is as a as a more uh broad meaning it just means a proof. And that's what the Taz is saying. But I agree with you that this is not what you would normally think. And, and that's why the Taz had to write it down. <laughs> In other words, you wouldn't you jump at this conclusion immediately. But the, the Taz is, is mechadesh, that this is not, or is, is sort of, I, I mean, in the end, once you hear it, you kind of realize that it is kind of an obvious point. Like, this is not really a testimony. Whereas matri and aguna, is you know is really a testimony because a marriage is created by test by witnesses, um, and presumably, well, undone, also by witnesses. And yet here it's it un 
Yeah. See, that if we're talking about like when, what does it mean for something to be Messiah Lippi Tumo and when does that apply? And there is a case in Hagozel that says that it, it, that it only applies, like that it's not, you know. That, it well, that was his passion. Right that was his passion. Right. So like, it seems like, no, but what I'm saying is that that, that on its own should be that, well, okay. I guess actually I have to look at the context and that goes on and see like how much a dude is actually being apl implied there or not. But I think that maybe matters. But. Um. Right, because it would seem like if, if, if the other context is one where Messiah Chofitumo is itself being deployed as a kind of category to describe how a dude how t testimony can function, then it seems like that principle should be, right? Like when we say that, when, when we're talking about the case in, well, I just don't know enough about the other so I guess I actually say anything useful here. But maybe I should back off. I, I would just say, keep it, let's keep it simple and just say that we're pointing out that this testimony is not really um, baked in testimony. It's testimony about an Isser or a Heter and therefore, we only need what he calls a hochacha. We just need a proof. We don't need proper, illegal, you know, formalistic edut, and that's why the goy. But whereas in the, um, I mean, and he would claim that in the Aguna case, that's formalistic proof. Although there too, it's Masih Tumo, We're not going to bring the goy into the into the court. Right. It's not. It's not we're, formalistic edut there have, either. No, that's, that's but we're going to have edut. But we are going to have edut. We're going to have edut of a person who heard that. We are going to have a kind of a dude because we're going to have a dude of a person who heard the guy say that, and here it's never going to come to a to a to a court court case. All right, that, that's that's that's. I just wanted you to point out really the question that we didn't even think about in the Beit Yosef, which is a, why are we relying on on a, a guy even Mesiachafi Tumo, and we saw a couple of answers, uh, either that it's a combination that we're sometimes relying on the fact that it's the Rabbanan, maybe maybe it's the Rabbanan. Or we saw that maybe this is not really witness, not really testimony. Or we saw the, the Shah who said um, that it will be revealed. That's sort of like this is like a no brainer. It'll be revealed anyway, so we can rely on him. All right. In the time we have left, I want to go back to the uh, Yosef. Um, Beit Yosef. Because now we have this amazing opinion of Rashi. Here, Joel, you want to read? Uh, Perish, now, in the tour, it said Perish Rashi. You want me to start of, with the tour? Yeah, I'll, I'll read the tour and then you'll read the the tour says Perish Rashi had the Samchina and Akfeila Dafka Ikashishi. That's when there's 60. Um, in other words, we have 60, and we still are going to ask a Gentile. This is kind of uh, Rashi's opinion that 60 is uh always required, even if you have a kafela. If you don't have a kafela, the kafela, if there's no Kafela's within a hundred miles of you, no Gentiles within a hundred miles, then you don't, then you can't do it. So then you just rely on 60. But when you have a kafela, you must use him. By the way, can you can you give me a rational explanation for that? Before we even read anything? Why why would Rashi say you'd need a kafela? You have 60. Well, that's enough. Why why go beyond? It's tam, it still can have the taste. Well, yeah, oh yeah, it could still have a taste, for example. <clears throat> I mean, something, I mean, I think for me, Karadin, he's saying, Ikaradin is tam, which is really the way the Gemara reads. It's actually a good read of the Gemara in many ways from Rashi, right? Ikaradin is tam, and the kafela is just there because, you know, uh, if no, you, and the shishim is just there. You know, the shishim, either way, I said the shishim is just there if you don't have a kafela. And so even if you have shishim, Right, you still don't know. There's might be Tom, so you have to. Because right, to maybe because shishim. If you think about it, if you have a case 
Well, we're about to see that in Rashi. But if you have a case of shishim, and then you're you're eating the soup, and there were sixty there, and you taste the pork, what's the din? You say, "Oh, I have this great opportunity now to eat pork. I always wanted to eat pork, and I get and I have I taste that pork in the soup, but but I've got my sticker on the wall that says I have sixty, so I can just keep going eating." Unless so you're a brisker, is, you didn't taste pork, what? actually. Unless you're a brisker, then you clearly didn't taste pork and you just made a mistake. So it's sorry. Right. It's not real pork. What you tasted is, <laughs> is, 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 is right is something similar to pork, but not pork. All right. So let's so so read the Rashi before we give the uh, answer. So uh, read the Beit Yosef. You mean? Yeah, the Beit Yosef. Yeah. All right. Right. This is Rashi's explanation. In other words, of, how does he read Kol Yisurim Shabbat Torah B'Shishim? It means minimum. Exactly. Kol Yisurim Shabbat Torah, and that actually is a nice reading of the Gemara. If you remember the Gemara, because it said. It asks, ah, but what about things that are like pilpel or other things that are more? So, so you read it as minimum. It's just a minimum. All is so at least requires six. Right. Right. So the says, Rashi, you don't make sense, right? That's not so clear because when we say we rely on a kefela, it seems to be Lakula that we rely on him, right? And according to you, Rashi, Right, the kefil is only there to make something asur that seems that should have been mutar. Because if there right. wasn't, if, a kefela, if the goy is, far, is 100 miles away, this would be mutar. Exactly. Comes the goy is, drives up and says, "Here I am." Oh, now he's going to cause problems. So why did it say something al kefela? Something al kefela means we rely on him to create a heter. But we're not going to rely on him to create a heter. I mean, he's going to create. He we already had a heter before he came along. <laughs> He's, he's going to make something asur. And I think they're really playing on some chinan, right? Some chinan sounds like, right? Rely sounds like we're relying on him to allow us to eat it, not relying yeah. on him to not allow us to eat it, you know? Like uh, necessary and sufficient. He's sufficient. He is a yeah. sufficient cause of heter. That's what some chinan means. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so I'll stop there for a second. The Rosh is like the same thing. And he says, it's even if, if we had, you know, you don't, then you don't add anything by having the kefela there. So it must be that if even if you have a one in fifty ratio, but the kefela comes in some, and whoever the kefela may be, and comes and says it doesn't taste like pork, then we rely on him, right? So the ratio actually doesn't matter in that case, right? Um, and so where where do we ratios matter? Or so where it's mean bimi no, then of course you can't rely on flavor on the someone tasting it. Or or when you have a combination of mino and mean and mean shebeno mino, where you can't really tell how much is is doing what there. So in other words, you have you have the the same thing and you know, there's min and mino, and then something isser falls in. Like you have kosher meat and kosher vegetables, and then a piece of non-kosher meat falls in. So how could you taste it in such a case? Because of course you taste meat there, but 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 maybe the meat you're tasting is the kosher meat. So you, you'd have to only use 60 in that case because exactly. you want to add in the vegetables and the meat against the iser meat. And it's third case, right? So it's, it is mean mino only. But what? But Right. So we, we have it straight in the Gemara that if it's Mimbi no, where you can rely on Tom, you should uh, rely on Tom. But where you can't rely on Tom, like Mimbi Shaino Mino, then it's Batel Barov, right? Which is our our our, our case there, right? All right. Kid side, how does that work? Uh, wait, wait, I lost, I lost your place. Where are you? Uh, she ilas, uh, I was at the Share Katav, Devar Isor Shinitarev, Devar Mutar, Mimbi Shaino Mino, Benotan Tom. 
Did I okay. I yeah, yeah. So, and so how does that work? Kate said. So what happens? You have some chalev that falls into, I can never remember what kind of beans greasing are, but uh, some sort of vegetable thing. Um, I don't know my vegetables. Uh, Greasing, I think, uh, means like uh, barley. Like, uh, okay, I'll go with that. Barley, um, and uh, it's like porridge, right? Is that did I? Um, but smash yeah. Oh, good, Lexi, porridge, Baruch Shikivanti. Um, and if so, there's a few stages here, right? If uh, you taste, someone tastes it, not you, and uh, and um, and there's no tam of chelav, right? Then it's mutar. Uh, and this is where it's completely nimoach, right? It's completely dissolved, completely um, melted in, right? Um, and so it's mutar. And if if tam is found, and if there's mamash, there's actual still mamash chelev, which we're going to define, we haven't defined yet, we will, right? Uh, then it's asur f- um, from the Torah. Um, but if it's just flavor, but there's no mamash in it, then it's only asur midirabanan. That's where we are so far. Okay. Um, Kate said, who mamash show? So what's ma- what does mamash mean? Okay, go and show you. I, I really lost you. I don't know. I'm, I'm, maybe you read faster than I can read. I don't know where you are. Did I lose? Oh, you know what I did? I skipped. I skipped. I'm sorry. I, I skipped columns in the Beit Yosef. That's why I've lost. I've probably lost everybody. No one said anything. Thank you. Yeah, that. I don't know okay. where you are here. Uh, the, so wait, oh, you yeah. Yeah. I had Mishim in two different columns. That's why. Okay, I'm going to go back. Uh, this is we're back in the Rashi here. Uh, uh, so, so that the Rosh says the Rashi, uh, the, the Samchina applies. Even wait, wait, wait. Less- let's 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 get everybody in the same place. Good. Um, I'll go back. Sorry about let's that. Let's go back way back to where it says the Ein Sarich Lachzor Achar Davar Acher Latir Ro Kishiyesh Po Shishim. That's in right. I'm, words, going back to the, I'm going back to it right now. Ustam Amrinan, right? Bechol Atam. Wait, 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 wait. Ustam Amrinan. No, wait, don't. No. Go back to where it says, Ve'en Sarich Lachzor Achar Devar Acher. Ve'en Sarich Lachzor In other words, it's enough once you have six, once you have Tima um, or 60, you don't need anything more. Once you have 60, you don't need anything more. You don't need to also ask the God. Of course, you, you can taste it yourself, essentially. Good. All right, let's do it. Uh Vechain Mashma L, right? De Amar Rava Amur Rabanan Betama, Vamur Rabanan Bishishim, Bechule. Right. And that's what's also implied that these the, these are the three different options, right? Not that you need a combination of the two of them, is what he's saying there. Mashma de Lois Karshishim Ela Hecha de Leka Le Mekamatama. Right. So the Shishim is only there when you can't rely on Tam. Ava Hecha de Ika Mekamatama, Loma Trichin Shishim. But if if in other words, Shishim. Is not a factor. It's not a function when you when you have a goy. But uh, it's only when you don't have a goy or you can't use a goy because it's min bemino. But there's no such thing as shishi when you have a goy. Use the goy. Um, tama sharia sharile afil bepachot mishishim right and so oh, there. If so you don't. You have forty. You have one in forty. And he, the guy says it's fine. Go ahead and eat it. Yep. So, I mean, even less than that, right? You know, potentially. So it's uh, um, uh, and that's and even uh, that's also the opinion of Tosfot, and that's the end of the right. Rosh's, I believe, uh, um, piece. Vinir Ebni Dvarav, Shekatav Sham Od, the Hadek Hamar, the Im Yeshbo Shishim, Ainsarich Lachzor Achar Dvaracher, Latiro. All right. So the fact is the key point now. Yeah. In other words, he says, we rely on 60. What is that doing? That's telling us that Mistama, that's, you know, they use that in modern uh, yeshiva talk. Mistama means like in all likelihood, it won't give taste, but it doesn't mean for sure it doesn't give taste. It just means in all likelihood, it doesn't give taste. So. Go ahead. In in tamo veshkach be tama afil yeshbo mea or yoter asur 
דתמה לא בתיו, וכן הסכימו הרשפה והרן ז"ל. So, in other words, if, if you happen to, you, you measure out the things, you said it's one in 300, he says one in 100 here, one in 300 doesn't matter, and you sit down and you eat the thing and you find that it tastes like pork, a sewer, you can't claim, oh, it was one in 60, it's good. Exactly, even if that sticker on the wall that says you're one in 60, if it tastes like pork, you can't. So now I want to go back and say like this. So what's the Sfar of Rashi? Rashi says, tell me why Rashi makes a total sense, though, even after we just said all this. He makes total sense because it's still a possibility that you could taste it at the end of the day, right? Because, and therefore. And therefore, it could still be Asur, and we don't want to, you know. And why? We, and, and if there's a guy in the room, you're not going to ask him to taste it? Yeah. Why risk yourself? Why would we allow you? It's kind of like what Rashi says uh, about, like, bread that is cooked, baked in an oven with the smell of bee, of meat. Why eat it with meat? Eat it with, you know, why eat it with cheese? Eat it with something parv. Why would you, you do something? In other words, the guy is in the room and you have this thing and you have 60, but 60 is not a guarantee. It's just mistama. It's just in all likelihood you don't have that flavor. So why not ask a guy? And not only that, you have to ask a guy, says Rashi, because, because, uh, why would we permit you to eat it if you have a very good way of finding out if it's if it still gives flavor? Since we know that things give flavor more than 60. Um, so Rashi does, even after all this, even though it's not an Ikhara Din, but it still makes sense what Rashi's saying. Go but the other side of Rashi is that uh, even if even if they we confirm that you can't taste it, you, you still need the 60. So that's... Right. That side of it, very good. Exactly. The other side of Rashi, the other Kumra of Rashi, where he says, uh, the Goy says it's fine, but we still need 60, that, uh, that's harder to accept. But half of Rashi I can accept. I can accept half of Rashi. Um, all right, we're going to have to stop here. But questions, uh, yeah. This is what made the Ree's opinion and the, and, and the tour so strange, because he, 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 Davka says exactly what, uh, what you said, Dev Nachum. Oh, yeah, there is a Goy in the room. But uh, even if he's like Nana, we're not going to, uh, we're not going to worry about it at all. We won't ask him, uh, which was a little, a little bit surprising. Where, where are you? Uh, point me to the exact place you're saying. The end of the tour, the reperish. Um, uh, sorry, I'm a little slow. Uh, re at the end here, at the very end of the sif. In other words, it's 40. And once you do have 60, you don't need your kafela at all. Uh, even if he's in the room with us. In other words, he's saying, we have rules. We're not going to make you ask the guy. It might be uncomfortable. It might be embarrassing. You can, in other words, I want to now give a definition of 60. Because based on everything we just said, the definition of 60 is like this. 60 is not saying, but I will say what it's not. 60 is not saying that it's much to, that it's, that it's much to eat. What is 60 saying? It's you know, to it. It's much yeah. to taste it. Yeah. It's much 60 just means you can taste it. You don't have to go to a guy and have him taste it for you. Once you have 60, you can taste it. If it still tastes like pork, so then you can't eat it. 60, and, and, and the rush is just, and the, and the tour is bringing, that, 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 that that's a whole, a, a, a 100% a rule. We don't, that rule, that you have permission to taste it. You know, because anyway, if you taste it, first of all, you're probably not eating a kazayat. You're probably... Not, it may be only the Rabbanan anyway. Tom Kicker could only be the Rabbanan, possibly. So we allow you to taste it if you have 60. So 60 is a heter to taste it, but not an actual heter to, to continue eating it. And therefore, you can taste it, and you don't need to even bother to ask a guy, because that's the whole point of 60. It's also interesting the privileging of the of the shishim over the kfela. In in some ways, it's surprising because it's like we have this we have this theoretical construct of how we determine ta'am from the zroh We have this elaborate derivation of how we got it. 
But rather than making that into a cloud that's going to determine everything, if we have this non-Jew who's around, then the mitziut is going to trump our halachic construct, which is sort of surprising to see. I, I, I normally I'm used to seeing the opposite. I'm saying because if there's a guy around, we'll use him. But yeah, like the, the mitziut trumps the the halachic construct. You know, the, the actual taste, you know, the, this this goy tasting this thing, you know, ultimately- it's Or like you yourself tasting it. I feel like that's that's like a, I don't know, maybe only the homo, but I feel like it's a pretty common move in the halacha, like going from like, we think we can figure out the mitziut to saying like, no, we need measurements. Like in Nida, this this right. comes up a lot. Of... No, but what, what Ilana is saying is that here, we are willing to throw away the measurement and go back to the basic. Uh, oh, that's basic. what you're surprised As opposed to saying, now that we have this measurement, now that we oh, have this halakhic construct, forget the mitziut, that's going to determine all. You know, like, right. this but is actually, saying, actually, you know, no, actually, what it actually tastes like does matter. I, and therefore, what if, here's a question, what if you, by accident, ate it? And you don't know if there's 60. But you started eating it and then you realized it was something fell in. That's what the Beit Yosef says, right? He brings that case. I don't know of that case where you accidentally, I don't remember such a case. Uh, and you're asking oh. if you can you keep eating it if you don't taste the, the flavor? Yeah, I'm saying you have, you have only 40 and you tasted it by mistake. And it now you see this, you know, you, you, you didn't taste any pork in it. Oh. Yeah. I, I would argue to, depending on who you read the Gemara, I, I think it's depending on who you read the Gemara like, but if you read the Gemara as an order, the Rava statement is an order, that Tama is is the ideal, Kfela is the less than ideal, and Shishim is the is the, the least ideal, then you tasted it, Tom, and that's the idea, even though you shouldn't have done it, you know, it's uh, unless you want to say it's like uh, or something like that, which would be the other. Uh, uh, can you bring me a, a Duke from the Rambam? Ooh. We didn't. I don't know if we saw all the Rambam that I'm referring to. Actually, we didn't see the Rambam that I'm referring to. But you may have seen it in your own reading. There is a diuk in the Rambam that proves what I'm saying. That that proves that I don't prove that. Perhaps I would say is a slight is a, or I almost say is not really a proof at all, but as a a funny proof for what I'm saying. I can't. The, the yeah. when the Rambam in, in chapter 15 discusses the tasting. He says, Yitamenu. He doesn't even say the word goy. He just says, Yitamenu. He says, Yitamenu goy in chapter nine when he's talking about milk and meat. But when he's talking in chapter 15 about Karavot, he says, Yitamenu, which might, I mean, it's a funny proof. That's not a real proof, but. He doesn't say who is doing this tasting. So maybe it's you yourself, if, you know, by accident. Anyway, don't let end this year with saying, go and taste your food and see if it's permitted. I'm just uh, pointing out the uh, mm. superiority of tasting over 60 and how 60 is the ultimate rule, but is not the ultimate, ultimate rule because you, you, it doesn't give a blanket heter. It only gives the beginning of a heter. Uh, okay, I think we got some good concepts here about kefela, about tasting. Uh, we didn't do Simon Sif Bet, but maybe we will do that some, next week. Uh, I'll discuss with Joel what we'll do next week. Um, uh, questions? Uh, thank you. All right, thank you guys. We're, we're, I just let me wait before you go. I'll just say one more thing, which is. It may be, it may feel like we're going slow, but there's two reasons for that. One is we're starting off and we have to build up a repertoire of knowledge and and uh, reading skills and and understanding and gr and thinking and group thinking, thinking together. And also this Simon Sadichet is uh, very rich in, in information. It has a lot of important concepts that we'll be using throughout. So it's worth it to be slow on this, uh, Simon. Uh, but we will obviously have to go faster in other Simonians.